and welcome to the midweek shave. Thank you, Mrs. H. You've got a lovely oranges there. Eh? Well, not oranges, colour. Okay, so here is the uh, long awaited, long dreaded. <laughs> oh, it's a few years since. Look at that. That's terrible, isn't it? Disposable razor, and it is a disposable. Forgot how to use these. Thank oh, there we go. Uh, you can't take that off. You have to throw it away. It's a three-blade one. It's a... I think it's Wilkinson Sword Extreme 3. So that's the razor, brand new. Um, Barbasol Original. I've used this before. I was excited to use this. Barbasol is such an old name shaving cream from the states i didn't notice this before but they do um barbasol razors don't get one i'm just saying um okay so firstly if people think what the hell is he doing i think you've come a long way since <laughs> okay the, the few reasons i'm doing this first one it was a request jim g thank you jim um the, you know, the more i thought about it the second reason is um, because I've de shaved for so long, so many years, and love it, I'd never go back to this. Um, but it's interesting for me to use basic products like this, and I can talk to you of how it feels differently to the de shave. Um, you know, what, what feels better? Well, I know which will feel better, but uh, how it goes. It should shave okay, but um, we'll see. Um, and the, well, the third sort of thing is hopefully anybody that does sha shave with these regularly and maybe they come across this video or somebody's friend sends it to them or whatever, um, they'll consider changing over from something like that to something as beautiful and inexpensive as that. Um, that will not become your friend because you won't know it long enough. If you look after it, that will, and that can become a, an heirloom, a hand-me-down. Anyway, let's go. Okay, now I know you're meant to, maybe in the hand, I've got to do something original. So you take the top off, and I'm just gonna put some in this little bowl here. Give it a shake. So how's, how's the week going? <laughs> it feels strange, this. All right, I hope you're having better shaves. <laughs> Mind you, there's nothing wrong with that. I like this. Look at that, it's like having a cream cake. Right, I'm going to brush into this. I'm going to wet the face. I've got to do something. Uh, oh, that smell. Nice smell. Look at that, beautiful. Right. He's gone mad. <laughs> Just come out the shower. I've done my hair. You know you are. <laughs> okay, does that make it official? Yeah, so don't take this too seriously. It's um but I do hope that uh, whoever look at that instant lather if people do use this. I mean you can still use the cream, maybe, but use a D razor and then step up to soaps and proper shaving cream and um Wow. Oh, and someone uh, did say about this bowl, they think, is it Leslie? It could be. Um, if I, um, Anyway, you know who you are. Thanks for the comment. You said that you think this is maybe a grinding bowl. Uh, but this was actually listed as a lather bowl. Um, ceramic ribbed lather bowl. So maybe they're all the same bowls, but uh, people are just selling them under different guises or whatever. It's okay, that'll do. I don't know if I'm, it'll be different. I've changed the lighting because as you've seen in my last video, it looked like um, I hadn't shaved this. So we'll see what the difference is today. Uh, if it doesn't work with the lighting system I've just changed, uh, we'll have to think again. So that's what we're using, Barbasol.
shaving cream on it making a mess all right we got the uh, blood and blade that's hope we don't copy that on the face blood and blade I was excited to use this as I say it's an old name it's an old brand just a basic shaving cream isn't it but a nice centre. What's this? Yeah. Brush. I'm just using the DS Cosmetic Barber Pole Synthetic. Right, that'll do. So as I have showered and uh, done my hair. <laughs> so here we go. That can go up. Roll on there. Uh, Next week when we're back to normal. I'm going to wet this, heat the plastic up on the blade. So it's a Wilkinson sword, throw away, disposable, extreme three, first pass. Forgot not to use these. Well. Good slickness on this barbersaw. Let's put these on, sorry. Well, so far, we're okay. So it's cutting okay. But the first thing I can notice between the two which I wouldn't have noticed when I used these regular. This, it cuts okay, but it drags. Feels like it drags on the skin. Where the DE, you can hold it lightly and it cuts the whiskers. But this cuts the whiskers, but drags the skin. It feels like. Um, feel very light. Very cheap, inexpensive, but we'll use the word cheap. I know some people use these for wet shave, for their heads, for their different things. Um, and that's fine, isn't it? But uh, you still use double-edged razors. Uh, it feels a bit plucky on the moustache, but not painful. See, when I used these the first time round, there wasn't many shaving creams about. There was a, well, the old tube cream, but it was all gels then, and the gel was terrible. It was sticky, gunky, and after a shave, that would have been full and stuck with whiskers, and you couldn't rinse it out. It was congealed old rubbish. So it's cutting okay, but... And the weird thing is, you have to put pressure on it. You wouldn't have to do that with a razor, D razor. But you have to put a bit of pressure on this to cut. Because if I did the weight of that, it would just... So, it's cut okay. Barbasol, good slickness. It is bad, didn't it, was it? That's not bad. Okay. I'm doing a three pass. I know a lot of people that use these would probably just do the one like that and off they go maybe, or two against. I don't know because I don't use them. And I have no intention of going back to them. 
Right, here we go. That's beautiful. If you made that from a sh shaving soap, you'd be very pleased with yourself. <laughs> This is a it's a scented cream, but in original, but it's a lovely scent. But I can't tell you what it is. It, it's a what can you say? Just a classic barber soap scent. Right. Okay. I know lots of people shave with these for convenience. You know, you don't have to be as, you have to be a bit more thoughtful with the D razor because it is a sort of live blade, which these are, but they're housed in such a way that they're quite safe. You can cut yourself, obviously, but you're less likely to. Here we go, cross the, cross the ground. What's your shave of the day, please? Been a warm all day. Uh, it feels cheap, obviously. So far, it's cutting okay, but the difference is I can feel, apart from the quality, obviously, is. This barber saw is doing a good job for this. And it's still clean. Um, but it does feel, as I say, the quality is low. But it's doing the job. But it's dragging compared to a D for me. I'm not putting much pressure on it now because I've taken the first. First lot off. It feels strange using one of these. I think if um, if I, ever I shaved my head, and the only time I'd ever do that is if I had a midlife crisis, or I went really sillily, sillily, silly thin here, you know, where you, you think, come on, just take it off. I think I would start using my, doing my head with this first to get used to the shaving of the head and then move over to the uh, double-edged razors, probably. But as I, as I say, I know a lot of people use these. Well, not, maybe not this model, but... Uh, so that's... That's that. Surprise this. I don't know if you've used this in your shaves or whatever, but uh, as a quick shave, maybe, but um, it's... It's quite slick, the cream. But I've got no qualms with that. Really. <laughs> Look at that, like a punk rocker. Uh, I've got a couple of, um, I've got three razors, new ones to use. Um, I think there's another one on its way, which will be interesting. Uh, I've got a new soap. Um, oh, that's another thing. Another request I had a while ago, in case you're watching, and I can't remember who, um, who requested it. You want me to use the modern Williams mug soap? Because uh, I've never had very much luck with that, and there's 
so many ways people say they get the good shaves out of it. I've got an idea how I think it'll work, or the best I can get it to work. Um, but anyway, we'll come to that, the uh, Williams mug soap. Uh, I've used the original, I'm lucky enough to have an original, which was sent to me by Todd. No, it wasn't, he gave it to me um, when he came on vacation to North Wales here, and we met up, and uh, no problem with the original. Damp brush, lathers up, add water, boom, beautiful, good slickness, nice soap, standard scent. But, um, so that'll be a future shave, yeah, in case you're watching, I haven't forgot. Okay. Shut up, both. Concentrate. It's a dangerous tool, this. Against the growth. You won't hear me say this now. Well, very rarely. Using the Wilkinson Sword Extreme 3. That's the biggest issue I used to have with the... Oh, that feels strange doing it. I'm hoping this lighting's better. Keeping clean. Like I was saying before, when you use this, uh, okay, this, you know, really, the first shave of this is going to be good for the razor. Second and third, it'll start to dull and it'll start to get cloggy. And that's when it's rubbish. You have to throw it away. Never to be seen again. It doesn't happen with one of them. You just change the blade. You've got multiple choices, multiple brands, and that's yours for life. As I say, you'll shave with that through good times, through bad, happy and sad. Um, and you'll look at it in a few years and say, you know, you've been through a lot with me. You've had a few chats in the, in the old, uh, when you're having a shave and sodding your, thing, sodding your head out, you're having a chat there and that's been with you. And you can hand that down to someone. You can't do it with these. That's the only thing. So... But it's doing its job. But it feels strange going back to... Oh, I thought I cut myself then. <laughs> How does this chin look in this? Because it's uh, so there's no razor burn or issues of that sort. Well, they shouldn't be because this is a because my skin is used to de shaving. Um, I feel I could catch my lips more with this because you. There's, some, there's three blades. Is there three? Isn't it? Yeah, three. And sometimes you'll catch the as you. Because sometimes you'll feel a bit too safe with this. Missed this job. Gonna have pick up time. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. 
just couldn't have thought to eat this. Oh, this will make a good. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Hang on, that's better. <laughs> Take action, right? I won't be in work today. Why not? <laughs> I've done my necking with Barbasol. With Barbasol. And then put the phone down while he's thinking, with Barbasol. Look at this. Oh, here we go. Bent down. When you've got seven chins like I have, it makes a mess. Okay, pick up time. Here we go. So the same as one of these, you cannot get a decent shave on just one pass. Uh, I've done a three pass, about three and a half. And as you can hear, it's still there. But of course, people that use these are either in a hurry or they can't be bothered. They hate shaving. They just grab what's there and... And um, they don't, they're not after the baby smooth. Yeah, so you have to put, or I have to put slight pressure, which I'm not used to doing now, on the razor, um, in order for it to cut nicely. But only slight, and it's um, it feels more draggy than a DE. But it's done its um, it has done its job. Right, so cold water rinse. Oh, that is cold. I tell you, that's slick, you know. I forgot about the slickness of it. I like the shave cream. I like the scent, I like the easiness of it. Um, I have two versions of that. The original, which I'm using today, and the sensitive, which is a green uh, can. But um, I think that'd be a good holiday thing, unless you think that's too big, but it's handy just to, in your face and, and out. But, Using one of them. Right. <laughs> Homemade witch hazel and tea tree oil. Give it a shake. See, this is what they don't do when they shave with these. So I'm going to give my thoughts on the shave as it is now. Before this, not adding. And the difference is I can feel after years of using double edged razors so the first question is would you ever go back to that way of shaving no no tobacco evan had this year's i did in the l7 market in liverpool on a visit to see steve farragher many years ago many, ooh, come on many years ago get your snifters on there <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you got to take this out, haven't you? I thought that was. I was going to say there's a nice. Uh... Thank you. 
but you've got to be careful, not too much. Oh, lovely. When I first heard of tobacco aftershave, I envisaged, that's a big word for me, don't ask me to spell it, envisaged the um, smelling like an old ash tree. <laughs> And I got, I did have the lemon, if you remember, the lemon, 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 lemon cologne in a bottle of this. Lovely thing. And the nearest now, if if not the same, is the Duru, D-U-R-U, lemon cologne comes in a bottle of that. Lovely stuff. And then I'm using a basic standard Wilk, Wilco's um, men's aftershave balm from the one of these stores we have here called Wilco's. Used to be Wilkinson's, but I seem to have shortened the name now. And it's good stuff. Okay, so what's the thoughts then? So firstly, thanks Jim G for the request. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to this, um, but I'm glad I've done it. If, as I say, if you've watched this, oh, you may have done it yourself. The difference is for me is that is feels inexpensive. It's shaved okay. It's a, it's a brand new razor, so it should do. So it's shaved perfectly well. Nothing wrong with that. It stayed clear, rinsing regular. But as I say, after several uses, it will dull and start to mess about, um, and muck the shave. You won't get a close shave and then throw it away. Gone. Throw away society. Um, so that's a no-no. Gets expensive then, once you start buying them, it's about three or four in a pack. It feels, compared to shaving with this now, because I can go lightly with this, and the blade just cuts the whiskers. With that, you have to put a slight bit of pressure on it because it's so light, but you end up dragging the skin. It feels draggy. Um, that's the difference as I can feel. Barbasol, good, nothing wrong with that. I've bowl lathered it, but I had to do that, otherwise I'd feel left out. I, I need that, you know, I'm not doing without everything, <laughs> even though it's a, one of these basic shaves. Um, but if anybody's watching that uses these regular, um, maybe keep it for trimming or doing your head or whatever, I don't know uh, if you're coming over to this way of shaving, but I can highly recommend getting one of these. This will last you a lifetime if you look after it. Um, you can try different blades, as I say, and you can clean it, strip it down and clean it, and polish it, and it'll be with you like a friend through good, thick and thin. Um, whereas this will never be a friend because you won't even be acquainted. After a few days, it's gone. So, um, but as I say, it's shaved. It's been different. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the difference, a bit of fun maybe, but... Um, I would highly recommend the Bledge Razor Shave, uh, the way to go. But um, as you see, unless this camera shows again I'm shaved, it's a smooth, clean shave. Very, very different. Love Barbasol scent um, and a good slickness to that. So no problem there. So all the best. Thanks for watching. I hope you have some great shaves. And uh, I'll see you Sunday where we go back to normal and using uh, something different again as in a razor, whatever. So uh, all the best, have a good week, look after yourselves, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.